I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Judy and Ravi, the village board making significant personnel moves tonight, including placing Dalton's top cop on administrative leave. The meeting featuring chaotic moments that have become a hallmark of this village. The level of the breaching of public trust is, is sickening. The meeting nearly ended before it really began, after residents who'd already taken their seats. You guys have to go through the matter detectors so that everyone is secure in the building. Were ordered by Mayor Tiffany Henry to pass through metal detectors. You're just so petty and unprofessional. How are you okay with that? In what's become a monthly ritual in this village under federal investigation and facing multiple lawsuits, residents called for Henyard's resignation. We deserve a mayor that truly cares about our village and not a mayor that sees our village as her personal playground. At the meeting, which was marked by repeated disruptions and people being let out, the board laying off eight village employees, citing village finances and limiting village credit card spending. Trustees and the mayor sparring over money. Speaking to the accounting department, we are in a financial disaster. Sometimes people have to follow the leader. Because sometimes the, the leader, the leader is the vision that it is. Like All right, quiet. The board also voting to place Deputy Chief Lewis Lacey on administrative leave. Exactly why the board didn't say publicly. This is political retaliation. This heated night, leaving many shaking their heads. Y'all are being hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray. Former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot has been hired to investigate village finances. It was announced tonight that she will present preliminary findings at a meeting this Thursday night. Now let's start this off correctly. I love you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm on go right now. So let's get started. I'm on go because of that. That wasn't nice. You did Grace Levi wrong. And I still love you. How about that? In my Tiffany voice. Now, this was a post that I put up earlier today. Now, Psychalika, they psyched me out because this was on Village of Dalton page, a uh, part of the actual um, listing that was supposed to be talked about today. So I noticed that something changed and these items were missing and they were changed. Now, these same names signed off on this paper as well as the other one I'm going to show you. But what was missing here, because I was excited. Because he was talking about thick leg Lacey, notice of administrative lead, deputy police chief. Now, when we look at the other paper, it's not there. I'm going to put it on the screen in a second. Also, part time housing director. I don't think that that was on that other paper. I'm going to bring it up now. Oh, no, actually, that is part time housing director. And that was bundled up. And do you think that's why the housing director started calling on Jesus and preaching? You think that's why he started preaching? But putting the other one up, let's see what, what we got going on. 
So this is the lead. This is the lead. And when I think basically this wasn't addressed. So we had Lacey at the meeting talking shit, talking about how good the police is. And I want to highlight that because y'all know I've been hitting these cases and I want to talk to you, thick leg Lacey, because you think that I don't know you are watching. OK, now what I'm highlighting is all the bullshit that you are doing and all of the money that you are costing Dalton. Let's give him a round of applause and put thick leg Lacey up there. Got the nerve to say that we shouldn't question anything about the police department because they're putting their life on the line every day. And as I mentioned, if you're a frontline worker and I'm a frontline worker, baby, and they could question me, they can question your thick ass in all of that, all of your crooked ways, okay? All of the crooked behaviors, all of the incidents that you are involved in or sometimes somehow intertwined in that has caused the loss of life and revenue. So I just wanted to call that out. I can't even believe Lacey was there. Shout out to the resident. We're not going to play the residence portion right now. God be the glory. I'll be able to make some videos off of it because, you know, I got blocked every fucking where. But it's OK. You can't block Grace Levi out. The people, the people know what they need. They know what they need. They need to be free. They don't need me. They just need the tools to be free. You want them to need you and your funds and your, your little program. You don't want them to be self-sufficient. You want them broke. Yeah. And, and, and you being the boss and them riding out with y'all to the to the wheels fall off and y'all crash and burn. No, not today. Y'all got the right person in the fight. Yes, I am going to be a truth teller. But I love you all. So those that was some of the things, one of the things on this this list that I found little, little amazing and didn't hurt my feelings that it wasn't addressed. In the coming days, former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot will release a preliminary report in her independent investigation into Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hendricks' spending. This comes after the board voted last night to place the village's top cop on administrative leave, only for him to defiantly return to work today. The gray clouds over Village Hall tonight seem fitting, as trustee Brittany Norwood describes the financial woes that loom over Dalton, resulting in the board to vote last night to place Dalton's deputy police chief, Louis Lacey, on administrative leave and lay off eight village employees. We were about $6 million in deficit. But this morning, despite the vote, Lacey still reported to work after Norwood says the deputy chief claims the board had no authority to place him on leave. That is not true. So we did a vote on it and our vote is actually valid at the moment. So um, we were quite surprised when he showed up at work today. We're waiting for our, the advice of our attorney to figure out our necessary steps legally. This is political retaliation. In battle, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard responded to that vote last night during yet another chaotic meeting amid multiple investigations, including a federal one into her spending of village funds. Preliminary details and an independent probe led by former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot are expected to be released to the public Thursday. Today, our calls to Mayor Henyard for a comment. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail have yet to be returned. The meeting from last night. I also reached out to Hindert's ally, Deputy Police Chief Lacey, to respond to the board's vote and the possible litigation surrounding it, but have yet to hear back. Now we are bleeding. This village is bleeding. If these residents knew the truth, they'd hit the roof. So another chaotic board meeting last night in Dalton. However, during that meeting, two unfamiliar faces were seen sitting beside Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Fox 32 has learned they are criminal defense attorneys brought to the meeting by Mayor Henyard, who is at the center of a federal criminal investigation. Dane Placco has the latest on the drama in Dalton. Another wild night at the Dalton Village Board, with a handful of residents being ejected for shouting at the mayor who also continues to do battle with the majority of the village trustees. So you got us into this mess, and now we're trying to salvage what we can to get out. People that say things about me, 
I want you to prove it. Because, like I said, fact versus fiction. Sitting at the mayor's side in a place usually reserved for the village attorneys, two unfamiliar faces. I didn't know them. Um, a, a lot of my, my board members, they didn't know them either. Fox 32 has learned this is Chicago federal criminal defense attorney Bo Brindley, along with his law partner, Ed McDavid. The website for Brindley's law firm says results matter, aggressive criminal defense. The two criminal lawyers sat next to Henyard the entire meeting and even went into the board's closed executive session. What makes this especially notable is that Henyard is at the center of an ongoing FBI corruption investigation. Our biggest fear is that she's going to use them for her criminal defense attorney and that the village is going to pay for it. In a statement, Brindley, a former federal prosecutor, says Mayor Henyard retained me to evaluate the board's conduct and identify violations of municipal law. Mayor Henyard is charged with no crime. Brindley says he is not being paid by the village. Why are you having a federal criminal lawyer sit next to you at a village board meeting? I mean, all I can say is, really? Municipal attorney Bert Odelson, who represents the four trustees doing battle with Enyard, says the criminal lawyers had no standing to sit on the board, and paying them out of village funds would be illegal. Well, we have a lot of experience in Chicago that happens quite frequently that politicians get indicted. But... They don't have the municipality that they work for pay for their criminal defense. Also at the meeting, trustees fired acting police chief Lewis Lacey and several other Dalton employees saying the village is bleeding money and needs to reduce payroll. In turn, Henyard fired her longtime village administrator, Keith Freeman, who's believed to now be cooperating with investigations into village finances. Keith Freeman is fired from the village of Dalton. He no longer works <laughs> with the village of Dalton. On Thursday, former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is expected to release her investigation into Henyard and spending here at the village of Dalton. Sources telling me her report will find the village is millions of dollars in debt it may not be able to make payroll in just a few weeks. In Dalton, Dane Placco, Fox 32, Chicago. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system. My whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because everything is mine. So who's tripping here? Message. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.